Welcome back to the next tutorial in my Pico 8 audio tutorials. Uh, I'm going to be going over a couple techniques and tricks that you can kind of utilize in your songs and your music um, and in sound effects as well. Uh, so one of the things that I wanted to do when I was writing some music in Pico 8 was I wanted a swell to happen um, over the course of a note playing. So I wanted this really long note that was going to kind of swell from being quiet up to being really loud and then going back to being really quiet again. And you can kind of see that in the waveform editor. It's the same note going across, but then the volume does this sort of swelling um, in the middle here. And the problem that I ran into when doing this in Pico 8 was that it, it has this like stair-stepping problem. Um, and I'll, I'll play that real quick and you'll kind of be able to hear it. So if you can hear, it kind of it bounces a little bit. Uh, and that's because every time it changes to a different volume level, it's like jumping up the stairs. So imagine it, um, well, you can kind of see it here. When it goes from 1 to 2, there's this jump here, and there's no smooth transition between the two. And so it has the stair-stepping effect. And so uh, the first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to make sure that I would fade in and fade out the first parts of the notes. And that smooths out the beginning, but we still have the bouncing effect. And we'll hear that real quick. Okay, so the way that I fixed this uh, and what I found was that if I used the slide effect it would actually smooth out the volume from one note to another so essentially it ramps the volume from one to two and two to three and three to four and so by putting in um, a one on all of these columns what I get is a very smooth sweep effect and uh, I'll just put it on this first part so that you can hear it and then I'll leave it off the second part so you can kind of hear what it originally sounded like so let's go ahead and play that So as you can see, uh, that's a good way to smooth out your volume transitions on any notes that may be the same, but the volume is different. Uh, you can go ahead and use the slide, and that will actually uh, smooth out the, the volume ramp. Um, and it's just a cool little trick to have. Uh, okay, so then the next thing, and this is kind of a simple uh, tip, but essentially, I wanted to have a very bouncy feel to a uh, song. And so what I used was the fade out effect. And I used it on every single note. Um, and it's there's nothing really all that special about it, but it gives it more of a, a short bouncy feel. And you'll kind of hear how that sounds. Um, and if I were to remove it, uh, you'll notice that it actually starts merging these notes together because they're the same. And let's hear it one more with the, the fade out. Yeah, so it gives it that kind of bouncy feeling. Uh, okay, so let's go on to the next um, little trick. And this is what I would consider an echo effect. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's listen to how this sounds. All right. And what it's doing, essentially, is playing uh, one note in the background, in kind of this background sound. And then it's got the actual note. So it's playing a note octave higher and then the note an octave lower in uh, full volume. So if we were to play this all at full volume, 
I mean, it's not as cool sounding as if you knock out every other note. And you can do that pretty quickly by just alternating between 7 and 1, or 5 and 1, or 2 and 3, or however you want to do it. Okay, so that's the echo effect. All right, going on, we have uh, just some slides and uh, vibrato added in here just for some interesting effect. Nothing too special, but just uh, something to note here. I wanted a long slide from C to G. And you would maybe think that you could put G and then put a couple slide values here and it would just know to slide up to G. Um, but you actually have to do some uh, interim notes. So I added in uh, D and F and then finally G once I slid up to that so that I could do a long slide instead of a, a single note slide. Um, so that's just something interesting to note here. All right, so I was also playing around with the arpeggio and uh, one thing I found is you can get a uh, kind of a cell phone effect with the arpeggio by doing a third uh, G and E with um, octave three and then I have a couple other effects there's like a little Pac-Man sound and uh, so I'll go ahead and you can have a listen to those so as you can see uh, these are really good for like sound effects um, you can use them for just something short or maybe you'll come up with something clever like I don't know you put a cell phone sound in your music um, but just to give you an idea of how powerful the arpeggios are um, this is just a few of the things that you could do with it all right now I want to go into a little bit of, on uh, drums and one of the things that you can do in Pico 8 is use noise channels and uh, some other effects for drums and what I found really useful was to use the drop effect with a sine wave and have it in the lowest octave and this gives it like a, a kind of juicy kick drum sound and uh, you can do different values in the lowest octave and even uh, the first octave you can kind of play around with it a bit but you add the drop you uh, use sine wave and then you'll you'll hear it's got this um, very low sound uh, let's go ahead and let's play with that real quick yeah so you can hear how that sounds um, and then another thing I added in were was the snares and the snare is basically a noise channel so you can see here this is the noise value um, and then I'm using it in a higher octave so that it has a higher sound and then I'm using the fade out and if you remember in the earlier examples I showed uh, that just gives it a shorter sound so that it sounds more um, more quick so let's go ahead and give this a listen uh, you will maybe notice that I set some loop points and that is so that I can have an intro section and then I can have the actual section that gets played. Let's go ahead and listen to that again. Okay, so as you can see, um, what this gives me is the ability to have sort of a, a different intro to that pattern and then have a repeating pattern later on. Um, okay, so we're gonna go on, and this is more of a, uh, I guess you could kind of call it a hip hop beat to some degree, um, but it's a little more syncopated.
And this uses kind of the same effect uh, as the last one or the same uh, process as the last one where I used a loop to have the intro section and then the uh, second part of it is the actual loop that will loop until the end of that particular pattern. Um, and you can see that in the waveform editor as well. You can see where the loop points are set. Um, so I may go ahead and put this up uh, either on the Pico forum or something like that and uh, so people can get access to it. But yeah, these are a few things that you can kind of play around with and hopefully that helps you make some interesting music in your Pico 8 creations. All right, good luck.